most of the new fluent users feel confused about the usage of the boundary conditions especially while selecting the inlet boundary condition should i use mass flow inlet or should i use velocity inlet or pressure inlet i would say that the selection of boundary condition depends on what physical thing you want to simulate let us do a sample analysis to examine the effect of boundary condition on the results here i have did an analysis to compare mass flow inlet and pressure inlet boundary conditions in this case i have specified mass flow inlet boundary condition at the inlet and pressure outlet at the outlets the mass flow rate is given as 1 kg per second at the inlet at the outlet the pressure is given as 0 gauge pressure let us see the results as we define the mass flow rate at the inlet is maintained at 1 kg per second at the inlet and the corresponding pressure at the inlet is computed as 1.3 to 10 to the power of minus 5 pascals and now i am slightly changing the geometry to create an abstraction at the outlet of the geometry and computing the same results again yeah now the mass flow rate remains the same the 1 kg per second but the pressure at the inlet increased to 9.2 into 10 to the power of minus 5 pascals because of the back pressure due to the obstruction at the outlet the inference from this experiment is that if you want to maintain an expected pressure irrespective of the flow domain you should not go with mass flow inlet boundary condition but you expect a particular inlet mass flow rate and don't bother about the pressure at the inlet you can go with mass flow inlet boundary condition i have also repeated the same by specifying a pressure inlet boundary condition here the result shows irrespective of the geometry conditions the pressure at the inlet maintained at 100 pascals however the mass flow rate gets affected because of the geometry differences hence the pressure inlet boundary condition can be used if you want to maintain a specified pressure at the inlet but the mass flow rate could be compromised a velocity inlet boundary condition is no way different from a mass flow inlet boundary condition in the case of incompressible flow if the flow is incompressible the density remains unchanged hence and the mass flow rate is proportional to the velocity you can specify the velocity instead of giving mass flow rate if the flow is incompressible both are the same thank you hope it helps